10 bird dogs each side. After those bird dogs, you're going into those fire hydrants. Yep. Then we're going into the zombie squats for the third one. So remember, arms in front. Try and keep those arms locked out as you squat. What's up, Sutherland? We're just getting warmed up. So today you're going to be looking at Coach Nick. He should be spotlighted from his dwelling all right, after those 10 zombie squats, we got 10 T's. So remember, that's that bent over position. Lead with the thumbs, just trying to squeeze between those shoulder blades. Wake up those back muscles. You, you. And then after the T's, we got those skater jumps so that Jump to the side, stick each landing. Good, show some control on that stick. Once you get 10 of those, you're back to the, the bird dogs. MB's back, there we go. Yep, after the bird dogs, you got your fire hydrants. Sorry, Steph. Yeah, you're gonna, it's gonna be uh, one where you can't really see what's on the screen as far as the workout. Then after those fire hydrants, you got the zombie squats. We got less than a minute, so about 50 seconds. about 30 seconds try and finish up that second round so remember after the squats we got your tees and then the skater jumps five seconds four three Two and one, nice. All right, real quick, get some water. You're gonna need a dumbbell or a kettlebell and then a box or something to step up on. If you don't have that, um, we got other options. Michelle, I texted you or messaged you regarding burpees. Okay, cool. All right, while you guys are grabbing that, I'm gonna set the timer real quick. So we got five.
All right. All right, so you guys should be able to see Nick on your screen. I think everyone's back by their computer. Cool. Drink some coffee, Steph. I hear you. <laughs> All right. Um, so today we got a spicy one. It's going to be the format, five rounds. Each round is two minutes long, and you get one minute of rest. So we got some movements you're going to keep going through, and then wherever you finish in that two minutes, you're going to pick up where you left off on that next round, okay? So we're going to start out with five burpees. So Nick's going to give you a couple reps here just to show you. We can either go all the way to the ground or do the version where we don't go all the way to the ground right there. So I'll let you choose. After five burpees, uh, if you got a kettlebell, this would be ideal. If not, you can grab a dumbbell. So Nick's going to grab, I think he's got a dumbbell, he said. Boom. So we got five cleans on the right side, then five cleans on the left side. So that pull up to the shoulder. Make sure we get full extension on that, Nick. So get tall and then get small. Boom, right there. Good. So if you got that kettlebell, remember we want that thumb back when you pull. Okay? That's going to help that bell move around the hand, just like Nick's kind of got it right there. So you go five on each side, then to your box. So Nick's going to use his comfy sofa. Yeah. All right, so this is 10 reps total, so five each leg. This is that plyo box step up. So you're going to push off on that box or couch, whatever you're using. Yeah, get rid of that sofa. It looks too soft. So we're getting five reps on each side, okay? If you're not about that hopping or jumping, we can do a step-up variation. So Nick could step up and back down and just make sure he switches legs each rep. Or if you don't have a box at all and still want to get like that intensity up and keep it high, we can do alternating split jumps. So Nick would stay on the ground, split his stance right there. So you got a couple options on that one, okay? Um, send me a message if you need something changed up. I know I already talked to a few of y'all. Otherwise, grab what you need. I got the timer set. And we'll get rolling. So remember, you want to keep Nick on your screen. I'll talk you through the movements as you're going, and then hopefully you remember the order, and you just kind of keep cranking them out, all right? Hold up, let me answer. So Michelle, for the clean, I got you doing speed squats. How about we do uh, a variation of a sit-up? I'm just gonna give you some ab work. So Michelle, you'll do 10 sit-ups instead of five cleans each side. Let me find you. Does that work? Cool, thanks Nick. Um, garage gang. So Nick, go back to that, uh, that step up real quick. Try and push yourself up off the ground real quick. So do like the garage gang. You know what I mean? Like where you add that little jump. Yes, right there. That's it, yep. Thanks, Nick. All right, I got you guys squared away. Timer's gonna get set. So remember, we got five rounds. Each round is two minutes. So that two minutes is gonna go by quick. And then you get a minute of rest. So you got plenty of rest compared to what you're doing for your work. So I need you guys to get at it, all right? That's why we got short reps on all these. All right, get yourself ready. We're starting out with those burpees. Five, yes, everything's five reps, Steph. All right, let's get it going, y'all. Two minutes. Figure out your pace in this first round. MB, I like that. That crawl out, that's perfect. After those burpees, you got those five cleans on each side. Hopefully you guys got a heavy enough weight to make it worthwhile. If you got something super light, I would add a squat to it just to make it a little more metabolic challenging.
That's it, Karina. Good job. Get some air time. After those cleans, you got that plyo box step up or your step up or your alternating split jumps. Y'all got 45 seconds. Keep working to the end. Good job, good start y'all. Keep rolling y'all, 15 seconds. Take it back, 10 seconds. All right, you got one minute off. Should be breathing a little bit. Remember where you left off because this is where you're going to start your next round, all right? So, Jimmy, yeah, for two minutes, you're going to keep going on all those exercises. Get as far as you can in that two minutes, and then that next interval, you'll start where you left off. Where we got time left. All right, you got 20 seconds left. Y'all should be well recovered to go hard, all right? You got eight seconds. Make sure you're ready to go in five, four, three, Two and one. Second round. Let's go. Yeah, MB, that's good. Good job, Carrie. There you go, Nick. Getting it. Keep working, y'all. You got about a minute 10 left. That's it, Moss. Good cleans. Y'all got 30 seconds. Keep working. Keep working. Almost there, about 10 seconds. Keep going all the way to the end. Don't stop early, come on. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Nice. All right, minute off. Nice, y'all had a good, good uh, rhythm going on those. Michelle, you doing all right with those sit-ups? Okay. All right, got 15 seconds. Woo. All 
right. Should be recovered. Ready to hit it in three, two, one. Round three. Let's go. That's it, Sarah White. You got it. Good job, Rachel. Good cleans. Keep cruising, y'all. You got one minute left. One minute. Job garage gang, keep working. You got this. Y'all got 30 seconds. Keep moving, keep moving. 20 seconds. Keep going, eight, seven, six, five. Come on, Jimmy, four, three, two, <laughs> one. All right, minute off. Great pace on that round. What was that, three? Yep, we're going into round four, coming up. Put a hole in it, Steph. Uh. <laughs> as long as he doesn't put a hole through the, the, the base of it. You get you a cooler. That's what Stephanie Moss is using. She's got that cooler. I know your husband's got a cooler. All right, y'all, get ready. We got five seconds. No more chit-chatting. Ready, set, and go. There you go, Nick. Keep dancing. This is our fourth round. You should be still giving a great effort. That's it, MB. Good catch on those cleans. I like how you're squatting to catch it. Y'all got 40 seconds. Keep working. Twenty seconds.
10 seconds. You got it, MB. Get a couple more reps in. Three, two, one. Rest. All right, this is your last minute break, and then we're going to go into that last round. So wipe that sweat off. Man, it is raining up in here. Nick, is it raining in Leland? It is. All right, y'all got 15 seconds. Get ready. This is your last round on this. In three, two, one. Let's work it. Keep working hard. Y'all are getting at it. Good pace, y'all. Good 30, first 30 seconds of it. Still got a minute 20 left. One minute left. One minute. You grinding, y'all. You got this. I promise this only workout where you need to do burpees today or this week. Should make you feel happy. Twenty seconds. Keep going all the way to the end. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Hell yeah. Nice. All right. Go get some water. You guys get about – I'll give you guys a minute – Two minute break. What you're going to need for this next part of the workout is a band. If you do not have a band, just let me know. I think everyone in here has a band. Because if not, I got body weight options. So keep resting. I'm going to set the clock for the next section. All right, make sure you can see Nick. So today, uh, our finisher is going to be band. It's all band exercises. Um, the way we're going to approach it, we're going to go three rounds. Each round or each exercise is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. And then, like I mentioned, we do have body weight options if you don't have a band. But like I said, I think everyone has a band in here. All right, cool. Everyone's by their screen. Stephanie, is that, or uh, Sutherland, is that the only band you got? So you've been looping? Okay. 
So you just let me know if none of these work out for you because there are some bigger movements through some of these. All right, so first one we got. This is our banded RDL. So if you got a band like Nick does, you're going to step on both parts of the band. Today I want you to grab the handle. So Nick's grabbing like that little loop. I want to see you grab the entire band and choke down as far as you can. And then from there, set your back position and then we're going to stand tall and just figure out that band's going to, like if it feels good. All right. Yeah, there you go, Nick. Good. So hips back, drive the hips through, squeeze the cheeks at the top. So that is our first exercise, the banded RDL. Then you're going to keep that band in that position, but you're going to go down to a seated position. So the band's going to stay around the toes. Same idea, grab the band with your hand. Get some good tension on it. So you want to sit tall. So Nick, let me see you sit tall, buddy. There you go, right there, as you pull. And a little trick on this, if you want to engage the hips, you're going to purposely spread your feet. So push your foot against the outside of the band. You're going to feel your hips turn on when you pull on that. That just makes it a little harder, okay? The third one, we're gonna be up on the feet. We got our banded X steps. So if you got one of those small bands we use that breakaway, you can use that one. If not, we can step on one part of the band. Then you're gonna cross it, that's our X. And then you're gonna grab as low as you can, get some tension on it. And on this one, it's just like our lateral steps we do at BFP. So you're gonna go three or four steps out three or four steps back. So you just keep moving back and forth for that 40 seconds. Moving on to the fourth exercise is a banded chest press. So we're gonna keep you guys standing. So Nick, get close to that camera. So that band's gonna go around your back, under your arms, and then notice how that band is kind of across his palm a little bit. So we, want, we don't want to put it around the thumb. A lot of people make the mistake of putting it around the thumb and then it just kind of wrenches on your thumb. So from right here, we can stand and do a chest press. So Nick's going to push out straight. If you want to make this a little harder, I was playing around with this this weekend. If you push out and bring your hands together, you'll feel that a lot more in your chest. So that is the fourth exercise. The fifth one, you're gonna keep that band where it's at. We're gonna go into a tall plank. So we're gonna kind of fatigue out those triceps and pushing muscles in that tall plank. So that's what we got on tap, all right? Let me look at everyone. Does everyone have a band that will work? If you don't, I can give you some body weight options. Michelle, I know. Michelle, are you able to do that, that pull down again, or is that too much? Like where your arms are straight and we pull down. So we had that band anchored from the top. All right, everyone, just give me a second. I know, okay, let me. Um, Michelle, do you need one for the, the chest press and the plank? So try that pull down for one of those exercises. The other exercise, we'll do a glute bridge hold, or you can go up and down with the hips. There you go, nice and sturdy inside. Do you have a lighter band? Did you get an orange one or no? Was the red one the only one you got? Is that okay? And then we'll do a glute bridge hold for the other exercise that you can do? Okay, sweet. All right, everyone. You got timer set, you got 10 seconds. So I'll talk you through this. We're gonna start with those RDLs. So step on both parts of the band, get some good tension on it. And then we're going through that movement, all right? So hips back, drive the hips through, squeeze the cheeks. 
So Moss, on that one, you can step on both parts of the band. Boom, just like that, yeah. So we're just getting some good movement in with these bands. This isn't necessarily gonna leave you super fatigued. She drive those hips through quickly, like a swing. Pop. All right, that was time. We'll get you guys down to that seated position. We got that band row, so the band's gonna be set up the same way. Both parts of the band around your feet. Extend those legs out. Sit tall and start pulling. This one, just try and get some good reps. Remember that little, that little tip, if you push your feet, like spread them a little bit, you'll feel that in your hips a little bit more. Everyone looks good, good back position. Keep rolling, y'all. I got about five seconds. All right. Standing on up, we got our X steps. So this one's definitely going to get the hips. Like I said, if you, if you have one of those smaller bands, which I think I see a lot of y'all do, you can go right into those band steps like we do. Karina, I would keep that around your ankles or your feet. All right, let's get stepping. Remember, it's three or four steps out, three or four steps back. So MB on that? Yeah, right there. They don't have to be big steps. You just want to make sure your feet aren't coming all the way together. Got about 10 seconds. All right, rest. All right, moving on to that chest press next. So remember that setup, get that band under your arms, get the band across the palm, and then you got a good grip on it. All right, let's start pushing. Remember, push and pull the hands together. Jimmy, we lost you, buddy. Got about 15 seconds. Everyone's looking good. All right, rest. Keep that band where it's at. As far as the position of your body, we're gonna go down into that tall plank. Michelle, you do that glute bridge hold. Yes, nice. So Jimmy, go under your arms, under your arms. Not with that one. There you go. All right, we're holding y'all. Tall plank. And if you're not using the band, which I see a few of y'all are. We can always make this a little harder by doing some shoulder taps. But the idea of the bands to fatigue those pushing muscles. I know it's tough, Sarah White. Yeah. <laughs> All right, beep. We are back to the RDLs. So that was one round. So everyone should kind of have an idea of how to get set up real quick. We got 10 seconds. Remember these RDLs, we're trying to keep your hips high. You should feel a big stretch on that backside. So when you're ready, let's hit it. 
That's it, Garage Gang. Keep rolling, y'all. We got about 15 seconds. All right, rest. Second one, we're going to the ground for the banded row from that seated position. Michelle, does the pulling feel all right? It does? Okay, cool. All right, get set up and start pulling. Good back position, everyone. Yeah. Nice. I like it. The feet are engaged. Keep rolling, y'all. You got 20 seconds. Get your reps at your own pace. You got five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Nice. All right, see that third one was the X steps or those lateral band steps. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Got about 20 seconds, so we're halfway. All right, rest. The banded chest press. All right, I think everyone's got it. Yeah, remember, it should be right under the armpit. And now we're pushing. There you go, own that push. As far as how you stand, you can stagger your feet. You can stand with your feet next to each other. That's up to you. You can lean into it, kind of like how Karina's doing. There you go. Y'all got 10 seconds. Last round, I got a little surprise for you on this one. All right, rest. The fifth one is going to be that tall plank hold. You got five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Let's plank it up. I wonder what the world record is for the banded plank hold. I know the world record for like the planks like eight hours or something like that. That's ridiculous. Who got time for that? Almost there, y'all. Five seconds. Boom, rest. All right, we're back to the top. This is our last round. On this round, I want you guys to focus on not only the movement, but trying to be quick with the movement. So whatever you got left in the tank, I'm going to try and rep it out on all these exercises. All right, we got that banded RDL. Let's get it. I think as soon as you come up, you're right back down to that position. 
That's it. We'll speed to it. That's it. Good work, y'all. Yeah, keep it rolling. You got 12 seconds. Three, two, and one. Rest. All right. The seated row. Same idea on this. Crank out those reps. I know this one's tough for 40 seconds to keep a good pace on it. But that's the challenge. All right, you got three, two, one, start pulling. Good back position, good tempo on the pulls, that's it. You got 20 seconds. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. All right. Standing on up for those X steps. X going to give it to you. Someone's got to be listening to some DMX right now. All right. Let's get it. Let's get stepping. Remember this entire round, we're trying to be quick and deliberate with our exercises. You got 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Chest press. This is the one where I really want you to go quick on. Like you're punching people. No regrets. All right. Let's get it going. You got it set up. All right, let's get some quick reps in. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Call this a burnout. Looking good. Keep it up, y'all. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Good tempo on that, y'all. All right, we'll finish it out with that banded tall plank. And then we'll stretch it out after. You got three seconds, two, and one. We're hitting it. Got 20 seconds left. Almost there, y'all. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. All right, that's time. Let you guys, I'll give you guys 30 seconds if you want to grab your water. Otherwise, we're going to be on the ground for our two stretches we got.
All right, so our first stretch is going to be a side laying quad stretch. So Nick's going to lay on his side. He's going to pull that heel back on the top leg. And you just get to lay on your side and stretch the quads. All right, so get into that. We'll hold it for about 40, 45 seconds. So on this, you can't fall asleep. It's the only rule. All right, we're gonna switch sides, same stretch, just roll to the other side. All right, last stretch. We're going to sit down, bring the heels together, pull them in. We got the butterfly stretch. About 10 more seconds. All right, that is it for today. Great job. Hopefully it went smoothly with you able to watch Nick on that. Thanks, Nick.